if you're using this recovery console here, um, um, it can be configured as uh, to do continuous restores. Continuous restores are going to keep an offline virtual machine available, um, and I've got it running as frequently here as you know. This one is is updated as of an hour ago, as of an hour ago, two hours ago, seven hours, four days, five days. So really, recovery time objectives are are um, um, uh, going to be different based on different customers, and you're going to align the recovery time objective with the recovery point objective. Um, so here. Um, I've got a machine that um, uh, I can boot, and I can boot this machine machine in typically, uh, you know, 15 minutes or less from the time the customer calls me saying he's got a, a problem, uh, a down system, um, uh, a ransom, whatever it may be. Um, I can boot up this virtual machine in my infrastructure or in the COLA or wherever this hypervisor happens to be running, possibly on-premise, uh, update DNS, and let the uh, user connect to it. And um, you know that's going to be one of your shortest um, uh, recovery time objectives because you've got a machine standing by there. Um, and I've got various RPOs, recovery point objectives here. I've got um, you know potential for an hour of data loss, or two, or seven, or you know four days, or five days. And it really is a question of you know what do you need for that particular customer? What can they afford? Um, and then is the infrastructure set up to enable um, uh, you know hourly backup or multiple times per day backups? Now, with any of these, um, I've got backups that are happening, you know, you know, more frequently than say five days ago. Um, so what I can, uh, at least I should, on these particular devices, I'll double check the machine here in a second. It may actually be turned off. But um, what you can do is you can always come in here and right-click on these systems and uh, do a force restore. And the force restore will let you see what sessions are currently available. So yeah, it looks like this one I have uh, um, just recently uh, powered back on um, uh, uh, from a 13th perspective. And it started doing its own backups, but before that, the eighth was my most recent restore point. If the system had been ransomed and this even the session from five days ago was it was infected, then I can come back here and grab a session from say the seventh and hit OK, and that's going to revert that particular um, uh, standby virtual machine to the prior point in time. Um, these are being updated continuously behind the scenes. However, you know this one here is unchecked. Uh, so an unchecked system is kind of on demand. So in the event that this machine needs to be updated or restored, I'd come in and just uh, right-click force restore, and it would take four days ago up to today or yesterday or whenever I choose. Um, in those kind of scenarios, your recovery time objective is going to be a bit longer because it has to do a delta restore to get everything rolled forward. But you could have a machine that's staying a day or three or a week behind that's just relying on the cloud copy when you need it. Um, it would require less bandwidth, but it's going to utilize storage still on this hypervisor because it has, you know, 99% or 98% of the data already sitting there. Um, you could also have a device in here configured, but never, never actually trigger the restore. So you can always see the sessions, and then in the event that they have a problem, you come in and right-click on it and force a restore, and then it would build the VM on demand. Uh, but that's going to take you from a 15-minute or an hour type of SLA down to or up to a uh, four-hour, 12-hour, 24-hour SLA, depending on the kind of bandwidth and the available um, or the amount of, of selected data. 